this is a variety called Mary Priestley, which is which is a, a white. It's done quite well for me over the years. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to put on a variety called John William onto it. John William is a rose pink on white with a view to trying to aim for a, for a, for a pale pink. We've looked at the, the quality of each flower and we think that combined will probably give us a decent flower. You don't want anything that's too far open. The pollen was already shedding there. That will have already shed its pollen. So therefore we're looking at something as young as this one here. Just before the pollen sacs have, have, have ripened. So what we need to do, and it is a very fiddly job so you'll have to bear with me. Is we open it up to reveal the keel. And with a small sharp pair of scissors go in. We're we'll making an incision in the keel there to reveal the pollen sacs. And what we will do then is we will first of all we will remove the pollen sacs from there, taking them all off, making sure that nothing is left behind. And there, so you can see now. Stem is completely clear of the pollen sacs. So then what we do is then is we get the flowers from the pollen from John William and we're going to look to place it on there. So this is a sort of stage that you'll look at to be able to take the pollen. Whilst it's still fairly ripe and viable. And what we do, as you can see there, we hope the kill up the pollen is there. So we literally do that, the pollen is already falling out of that. So we've got some pollen on there you can see, but to make sure that we do get a good stable cross, we do that again. And there you can see we're now covered in pollen. So the next job is to put the flower back together. So there we go, we cover it all back up, protected. Then the last job that we do is we take off the remaining buds, like so, leaving that one there. We'll then put a label on it and mark it, log it and uh, hope for that pod should set in around 10 days time.